Hi, Allison Compton here, founder and creator of Indigo Raven Holistic Healing, where as a Tsai Chi practitioner and transformational journey coach, I assist other women in liberating themselves from their subconscious negative belief systems that are holding them back and keeping them in a space of emotional reaction and preventing them from moving forward so that they can ultimately find deep emotional peace and healing within their life. Today, I would like to talk to you about um, the, the mind and this whole aspect of the negative core belief that Sai Chi works with so much. So I'm going to show you and hopefully shed some light a little bit today with how those negative belief systems are put into place in, to begin with in the first place. So let's think of the two parts of our mind. We have our conscious mind and our subconscious mind. So if this is our mind, over here is our conscious mind, and over here is our subconscious mind. I hope you guys can all see that. Um, so conscious mind, when we think about that, the conscious mind helps us to do everything in our life with intention. So just like me picking up this marker, my conscious mind sends the message through my body to my hand to pick up this marker. It's everything I do with focus and an intention. So our subconscious mind is the part of our mind that stores all of our emotions, our belief systems, and it also helps us to um, control everything in our life without having to be too focused or intent, or actually having to be focused or hold intention at all. A great example of this is actually breathing. So as you notice when you wake up in the morning, you don't have to consciously think about feeling your air or your lungs with air and then releasing that air. It's like your body automatically does it. And that is what our subconscious mind is, is responsible for and helps us with. So both are just as important as each other. Not one of them is better. They both help us in our life incredibly. So in between the two, what kind of separates them between, you know, from each other is a part of the mind called the critical factor. So this is kind of the filter for your subconscious mind. So the conscious mind uses the critical factor to filter any information and new knowledge to go into the subconscious to eventually become a belief system. So um, the critical factor is actually developed around the age of eight years old. And what that means is that 90% of our belief systems are actually created around or before that time of our lives. So I'm going to give you an example of the very first core belief that I discovered with Sai Chi and um, in the simple way that it actually came about in my life as far as my human conditioning here. So when I was six years old, I loved to play soccer. And my mom signed me up for the local soccer league and um, took me to the games or took me to the practices in preparation for our first game. The time of our first game came around and I was super excited and as you know, uh, six-year-old children in your life. They're just filled with joy and everything they do um, is just centered around play and joy. And so I showed up at this game, this soccer game, completely ready to play and just be joyful and do something that I love. Well, turned out when we were getting ready to play, I was actually kicked out of the game before it even started. And the reason being is I wasn't prepared with the type of shoes that I was wearing. I was wearing the wrong type of shoes. And um, so being kind of shot down from that joyful getting ready to play with my team turned into a feeling of, oh, I am different. I don't belong. And most importantly, I'm incapable of being a part of the group. So those are the general feelings that I left that day with. And those went into my subconscious mind because I had no critical factor. It went into my mind and as life happened, 
the, the, those thoughts or those feelings or those energies became validated, whether it was, you know, being on the playground and uh, someone telling me I couldn't play with them, um, just typical kid stuff that happens. All of those little feelings, those little thoughts, those questions actually become cemented into the subconscious mind. And over time, they're validated over and over again. So how did those beliefs play out in my life? I'm going to show you how, I'm going to tell you how those beliefs affected my life, just going through that experience when I was six years old. So number one, the belief of I'm different, I don't belong, that type of energy, actually played out um, where I intentionally didn't want to belong. I became a rebel, I became a troublemaker, like all through, you know, especially into my teen years. I didn't want to fit in because evidence in my subconscious mind suggested that when I try to be a part of the group, I get in trouble. And um, the second big key to that is I'm incapable. I'm not, in, I, I'm incapable, I'm not equipped to be a part of the group. That's the second belief system that I created. And how that played out in my life is I actually lived out of it completely opposite. Instead of being incapable, I put on a mask. And I overcompensated my whole entire life to try to prove to every single person that I was capable. So I became that overachiever, know-it-all type of kid. And not fitting in with that, trying not to fit in, those are two um, belief systems that don't work well with each other. A lot of energy and a lot of time was spent living out of those two conflicting belief systems. So um, ultimately into my adulthood, until I discovered that belief, being... Being in the energy of constantly trying to prove that I was capable, I actually wouldn't accept help from other people. Um, in my salon business, if, if a client wanted to give me like a really good tip because of a really nice service that I provided for them, I wouldn't accept. So I, I stopped accepting or I never even began to accept you know, gifts or help when people truly genuinely wanted to help me. And so I created a huge block in my financial success, my financial abundance and prosperity. And the most important thing to kind of sum all of this up is that with those belief systems planted in my subconscious mind, living my life that way became very easy for me. It was just like breathing to be an overachiever for me. It was just like as easy as breathing to be different from the group. And it made my life difficult. So being able to clear those beliefs with Sai Chi, you know, discover those, I can step forward into my life now. I don't have to overachieve because I know in my heart of hearts that I am capable of whatever I choose to create in my life. So that's kind of a general rundown of the subconscious and the conscious today. And I'd like to remind you that as you eliminate your subconscious negative belief systems and integrate a new positive truth, living your life in your power and in your light becomes flawless and effortless, just like breathing. So again, are you ready to change your mind today? Thank you for watching, and for more information, please go to indigoravenogden.com. If you have any questions, let me know, and um, I look forward to speaking and hearing from you soon. Have a wonderful day.